Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty good news and pretty interesting news to go and talk about when it comes to PlayStation 5 scalpers and the fact that they're actually losing money on all their actual restocks. Now, I will go and say this actually will have a few little things for us to go and talk about throughout this. So I'm going to chime in a lot of my opinions on this, but it does actually kind of seem like every single few months, it does kind of go and teeter-totter a little bit down. The demand goes a little bit worse too as well, and we are finally every single day getting closer and closer and closer towards finally being able to go get our PlayStation 5 consoles just in store, in stock, readily available on Amazon, and all of that good stuff. So we have a lot of things to go and talk about, a lot of fun things to go and talk about, a lot of interesting things too as well, because PS5 scalpers have definitely been in the news quite a bit throughout these past few days. Let's go and talk about it. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controller, Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below. Sign up for Weeble with the link down below. Deposit $100, you guys get free stock, just instantly remove it, sell it, and make some free easy money. And of course, Coinbase, if you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency, you guys go and get free Bitcoin. And let's go and dive in the video. So leave a like if you guys want to. So. We actually have an article over here. I'm going to chime on on this one because the, the click, it's a little bit of a clickbait on the title itself. But overall, it is a good thing. I'm going to talk about why it's a good thing. But of course, as well, there also is that little bit of a scary thing, too, because we might go talk about this in a separate video about how the brand new games is definitely getting on the Internet a little bit more on the excited side, too, as well. So we'll have to see how the stock price is going to go from Christmas, from the brand new games and all that stuff kind of coming on out. But we actually have an article over here on Forge. Basically, for, Forbes, not Forge. Uh, scalpers are now losing 30% on PS5 prices despite restock problems. So like I said, that's a little bit on the clickbait side, but there's actually some very, very intriguing interviews they had with PS5 scalpers that we'll get into in a second. So let's go dive on into it. So despite PlayStation 5 stock levels not keeping up with demand and the console remaining difficult to buy, resale prices are quickly falling, which is number one, that's great news. I just want to talk about that. PS5 prices on the secondary market, StockX, have tumbled by almost 30% since their peak, according to new data. The company explained to me that after hitting $1,000 on Cyber Weekend 2020, which is actually coming up, coming up not too long ago from now, for the disc version, the console has then dropped to $715 for third-party sellers in September. This is also 10% less than the price in June. So I want a few things I want to go touch on and note about this too. Number one, that's great. The fact that it takes them longer to go and actually sell consoles as well as also lose more profit. It just means that there's less scalpers, less botters that are incentivized to want to go and, well, go get it. But one big thing to note is it is kind of an ebb and flow. You've kind of noticed, I can even show you guys over here on the stock prices itself. Kind of like after we, we had a really big restock wave, as you guys can see right here, where the price was at $740. And then we had really big restocks off throughout this little few day period. And the price did go and drop down to as low as $600, which is breaking underneath the $700 mark for all these prices, which that's great. And I would love to keep on seeing that trend. In theory, the trend does kind of seem like it is always slowly moving down and down and down and down and down. But as you guys have probably noticed, we've had a little bit of a restock, a little bit of like a drought these past two weeks. Thankfully, we should have some pretty good restocks these next two weeks or so, and also a lot of walk-ins. I'm sure you guys have been seeing on the channel. But basically, it does have a little bit of a bounce up. So like it does kind of go up and down depending on how many restocks. And I'm sure we'll probably have a pretty big little bump up as it gets closer and closer to Christmas where kids and, you know, families, brothers, sisters, or just people just want to go and treat themselves for their consoles. But right now, it actually is like some of these points are some of the lowest points we've seen. We have seen lower dips before that go to like 710, but this little dip right here is probably one of the lowest we've actually seen in quite some time. But of course, we have the bounce back up, which we can probably talk about more in a separate video if you guys would like to. But as we can even go through this article itself, the digital edition also did go and peak on up to around $1,000 on Cyber Weekend 2020. And is now selling for just under $700, which is 6% cheaper than three months ago. Once again, too, as well, same thing with the console price being a little bit cheaper than how it was in June. So it is an actually really good thing where it just keeps on going slowly and slowly going down and down and down and the price points are becoming more and more normal. And that also means that scalpers are making less money, which means they're less incentivized to want to keep on buying the consoles, which is really, really good. So both of these are actually still quite expensive, though, which stinks for the $500 and $400 digital. And the fact that they're even still selling over $700 on that much of a price markup, it's kind of insane if you really could think about it. But this is like the best news about this entire thing right here. So resellers they have actually spoken to with also do echo the fall in prices. And this is actually from an eBay vendor called Matt, telling me that sales remain consistent, but the prices are steadily dropping. This is great. So it's like I said, this kind of just means that third-party sellers 
are selling them for cheaper, which means that there's less people, like the demand keeps on going down, kind of like the hysteria and all this craziness is also going down. And it's just all around really good news because that just means that people are like kind of either getting their consoles from these really, really big, like just drops in general, or as well, they're also just, just not making as much money. So they're less incentivized to go and sell, as we mentioned before. So here, here are their quote. To put into perspective, at the beginning of July, I would have had auctions ending at around $760 plus $40 for shipping. So like an $800 sale easily. They said like literally specifically shipping easily. Now, an auction have no bids at $729 plus $40 for shipping. And they literally just had to go and end one before for even cheaper, $20 cheaper at $709 and $40 plus shipping. I do want to go and say, though, I, I would still be anti-scalper. The more people, basically, if people aren't buying these, that just, as I said before, then they're not going to be buying as much stock because it's harder to move. So people won't be buying Walmart sales, Amazon sales, etc. And then we'll have even more normal people getting consoles. It's like an, it's kind of like a big tornado. Or like it's kind of like it just keeps on happening it keeps on going down and down and down and down and down as time goes on until eventually it's just normally in stores normally in consoles and it's extremely easy for all of us to go get our stuff which is great so basically for some enterprises reselling are trying to stem the price decline by capitalizing on the supposed heat sink issue by putting a launch or new model numbers of the cfi 1116a and the cfi 1106b digital in the ebay listing title which we saw and some folks actually out there were actually pretty much pretty likely to go buy it. So actually, you literally have things from scalpers that are be like, this is great news. They're having issues selling stock. Less people are buying stock, which is great for all of you guys. Hold strong. Just a few more weeks, a few more months, and you guys will be good. And as well, it just, it just seems great. Like, I love seeing this, boys. I love seeing this. For the uninitiated, Sony is also steadily rolling out a lighter and quieter version of the PS5. And a lot of people were saying issues. We did make a video on this where it can kind of go either way. The CPU actually was ru running cooler and then also the RAM and memory was running a little bit hotter. So it can kind of go either way. But I also did mention, too, I do kind of trust Sony, basically assuming with all their multi-billions of dollars of research, that it should be fine with that, too, as well. So we also did have other various places like Digital Foundry basically go and point out that measuring the heat output alone doesn't tell the full story, and they went a little bit more into that, too, as well. So despite that, and regardless of any differences between the two consoles, scalpers haven't been able to sell the base bottle for more. Another eBay seller, who has sold 15 PlayStation consoles so far, said that they haven't seen any major differences in price between the two models, and the more prolific reseller, who has shipped 48 consoles, echoed that and said that they're not sure if users know or care about the new screw design and hit seeing changes. Uh, now, the Xbox Series X, though, has taken a slightly different path. In the last year, according to StockX data, the Microsoft console's price dropped by 25% from its Cyber Monday peak, around $800, to its lowest price in July, 600 but they also had a really sharp turnaround this month the xbox series x has sold for an average of 725 dollars so even right now it does seem like the xbox series x this is kind of surprising information for me is actually more in demand at least on the what prices are people are willing to go pay for but it also makes sense too because the xbox series x has been definitely not in as demand and as you guys have seen we have barely seen any xbox series x restocks it almost kind of seems like they're even getting more rare than the PlayStation 5. And this is actually kind of crazy too, because it's only like a year later, it's only 25 to 75% less than its peak. StockX senior economist Jesse Einherd explains that this is because Microsoft machine saw fewer restocks in the PlayStation, and that is as a result of their relatively scarcity price on StockX increased. Which actually make a lot of sense too, because a lot of drops, like we've even seen a lot of like, even for Target, was pure PlayStation 5 disc and digital. And we've also seen Sony pretty much make around two times as many PlayStations in comparison to Xboxes. So it does kind of seem like the Xbox is still in that awkward limbo where they're trying their best to go and get stock out, but they're just not really getting there. Like it's actually kind of a little bit on the rougher side. So basically scalpers, however, are still making money from reselling consoles, even if the margins are smaller. All resellers I spoke with said that the volume of sales hasn't decreased just the sales price. So they're still turning them on out, but if the prices keep on going down and down and down, and you guys kind of hold strong against scalpers, that means they're less likely to keep on buying stock and everything should hopefully get to normal a little bit faster. How long this will continue is really clear until CEO Pat Gelsinger said in late July, that the global chip shortage, which is slowing down production, could last for another two years. In an earnings call last month, Sony's CFO Hiroki Totoki said the company had secured enough chipsets 
the sales for the financial year. So I kind of want to hear your thoughts on this. It's actually crazy to go and see that scalpers are finally losing more money. And this is overall kind of good because, like I said, the less consoles being sold, the better. The less third-party sellers that are yoinking all the stock, the better. And hopefully, as this keeps on continuing, we'll see prices kind of equalize out and be more available up on the stores themselves. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. I always love hearing this news. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. The link down below. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stack free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys up in the next video. Love you guys.